<coughs> Jerry, yet another action-packed game, plenty of goals this time as well. Can you analyse all that? Lots to take in. Yeah, I felt the game was a little bit open for us. Um, certainly, certainly start the second half. I thought we started the game really well. We were dominant. We um, we kept the ball really, really well. We we sort of took a load of territory, and then we hit with a sucker punch and they score. But the good news is that we we go and react really quickly. Fantastic goal. Really unusual for Elliot to score a header. But um, yeah, so so yeah. Listen, we I think it's Scotty put a really good cross in. Elliot's tracking in the far post. Whatever you want him to. And at 1-1, really, we think, right, OK, let's go and push on again. Credit to Farnborough, they started the second half really well, I thought. We didn't quite get going. But then after that period, they then go and score. I'm not sure if it's a penalty. I don't really know. I can't see from my angle. He's got down the side of Jack. Um, but he's given it. The referee's given it, so nothing we can do about it. And again, we go and react. And then we're creating all the chances, really, second half. I can't remember them creating anything really to note second half at all. Um, we obviously then can go and win the game. So when we've not been at our very best, we're still good enough to beat teams. And um, we should we should obviously score the penalty. But Jack's read Cody really well. We know Cody sometimes likes to pick that corner. He's gone really early on it and um, pulled off a really good save and managed to keep hold of it as well. So credit credit to Farnborough because they dug in. But I thought I thought we'd been great again. I think I think even though we're not not quite our best today, I think it does feel different. Honestly, it feels like this team has got has got so much in it. And that's why we're a little bit frustrated after the two games, just picking up one point on Tuesday and one point here. And that's no disrespect at all to Farnborough. But, but we feel like we're a real top side and it feels like it. And the fans, again, were great. But yeah, all we'll do is we'll take another point. We'll add to the total. Still very tight at the top and um, keep working at it. Doesn't feel as much like you're drawing. It almost feels like you ran out of time because we yeah. said on commentary, had it gone on for another 10 minutes, you're doing all the pressing. It felt like there was going to be an extra twist. Couldn't quite create that other chance, but you had Farmer really penned back. Well, they were banked in in the end. They're having to defend against us. I mean, I'm looking at my centre-backs on the halfway line, moving the ball from side to side. We're trying to get it to our wide players. I, th I think it's sometimes our deliveries hit the first man, but with the goal, obviously Ewan's done brilliant when he's gone on. He's played a great cross and Jack's flicked it, gone in the far corner. And then young, young Oscar, when he's gone on, I think, Pretty much, you, you know what he's all about now. So I thought he's electric. He's gone on real good pace and power, direct, got past people. He's crossed for the penalty. So the ball's gone in. It's a great delivery as well. And um, yeah, and, and, and that's the story of it, really. They they started the game in the second half better than us. I think if we'd took and taken that momentum early in the second half, we'd have gone and won it. But it's not for the want of trying. We're creating so many chances. Scott has slipped in the box. Jordan's had a shot from distance. Um, one's come back at Scott again really quick. So we're creating all the chances, but but we just couldn't couldn't quite get the win, which is you know we're we're not happy with that, and we've said that to a group. Don't be happy, just draw in, and they're not, and we pick the bones out of it. But um, like I said, we might have lost this a few years ago. Strange results in the league. Not sure if you've seen them all today, but a lot of the teams at the top teams like Hampton have capitalised on it. Mm. It just proves how how close it is. Well, it's got, people are going to slip up. I think I think Yeovil lost, haven't they, four one, um, and we said they've got a lot of away games to play. The, there's no easy game, you know, Spencer would have said it afterwards in an interview, there's no easy games in this league and we knew we knew it was going to be tough coming here today. Um, it, it proved that to be a tough game, but I felt as if we'd done more than enough to win it for sure. Um, some real real tough decisions to take at times out there, but listen, I'm not going to sit on it and, and come after referees because I think it's such a tough job at the moment. Um, they're, they're really up against it in whatever level you're looking at, referees are up against it. So he gave the decisions he gave and you have to stay with it. And... Um, in the end, we, we should have won the game because we had a penalty when we weren't quite at our best, but still a very strong away performance. I thought I'd just very quick one through on Tuesday, presume some players, I know Tom is yeah. suspended, but others like Chris Lines and so on, yeah. going to get a run out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah we're going to... Um, we're going to have some of those boys who won't have minutes now, some time. Obviously, Jay Raines hasn't had any today again. So, yeah, we'll look at that. We've got to try and look after the group. The good thing today is that I can make those real positive attacking changes now. I look around the bench and we can do it. So, um, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Well done for the point. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Mark.